Good afternoon folks, Big Bo here with another great, and I guess you would call this a retro RV review from Parkway RV Center. Very, very desirable little motorhome we're going to show today guys. This is a Safari Trek, a 1998 Safari Trek. It's the model 2830. It's 28 feet long, but has the room interior space of one that's a lot longer than that, thanks to its unique design. It is the upgrade path maker, so it's got the hydraulic leveling jacks and more. Beautiful RV, guys, built on a Chevrolet chassis. Uh, got the P32 Chevrolet, 88,000 miles, and has the 454 7.4 liter Vortec V8. One of the best motors GM ever built is in this coach right here, guys. And uh, looking around at this thing is very nice, very clean. Got a 4KW Onan generator powering everything up right now. And, um, wow. These are kind of another unique vehicle that has almost a cult following. And um, there's clubs for owners of treks. People love these things they're because they're so well built. And, um, you know, like look at the siding right here. This looks like fiberglass. This is smooth metal siding riveted in so you never have delamination worries. The paint stays on it a lot longer than fiberglass. All around, just a whole lot better built coach. These are built up in Oregon. Aluminum roof. And speaking of roof, I'm gonna pause the video for a second, pop a drone up, and uh, show you the roof. Good looking roof to be a 1998, isn't it? And I did a little, uh, I guess, uh, 360 around the uh, around the entire motorhome, so you can see what it looks like from a little higher up. That's a good looking little motorhome to be a 98, guys. And looking around it, I mean, it's everything you would expect it to be. I know it's not. I'm not going to say it's a new one because it is 22, 23 years old. But wow custom painted mural on the back now guys i don't think this is what was on at factory which it may be because it does have an eagle on it got the patriotic theme i've just never seen a safari with that on the back before uh which looks great i love it usually it's got an african scene or safari scene and this one doesn't have an artist signature on it either so this is maybe something that one of the previous owners had put on after the original one but it looks great guys gives it a unique look uh, it does have a trailer hitch on the back 5,000 pound tow capacity 4kw onan generator like i said running right now three point hydraulic leveling jacks nice you know looking down the side here i mean Windshields look great. Tires look good. Got 19.5 inch tires. Um, big windshield, and yes, we are going to drive it later. Even though I'm solo today, I'll put my chest mount on. Got the nice patio awning. It's going to include a full checkout after purchase. Wow, wow, wow. Let's look inside. It's a lot of motorhome for under 20 grand, especially in the current market. 
You know, most of these tricks I get normally sell for twenty-five to thirty thousand dollars. But look inside. I got generator and the roof air on. Roof air is nice and cold. Refrigerator is getting cold. We'll start here in the front cockpit area. I'll point out anything good, bad, ugly about it that I see. Front seats do swivel for party seating. In fact, I gotta lock them in before I drive them. But uh, up here in the cockpit area, eighty-eight thousand miles and change. Eighty-eight five eighty-one before we drive it. Um. No check engine lights, no warning lights, none of that dreaded auto park light either. <laughs> Those of you who've owned these, you know what I'm talking about. Dash looks great. It's a vinyl covered dash with no claw marks, no pick marks. So right there tells me they haven't had pets in here. It's got a place for a TV up top. Um, you know, for 1990, I wasn't planning on putting one in here. Uh, if you want us to install one, ask your salesperson. We'll have to get a little creative with it since this was originally designed for the old school CRT TV. But you may be like me, you don't give a flip about TV anyway. <laughs> but got the hydraulic leveling jacks, all your buttons right here, everything looks good. All the wall and ceiling panels look original. That means they haven't leaked and had to been replaced. I don't see any soft spots. I don't see any wrinkle spots anywhere. Original factory radio. Neat motorhome, guys. I've always liked these things, and um, and I always every time I sell one of these, people tell me how much they enjoy these little motorhomes. It's just Here's the thing, guys. I mean, you take a 28-foot motorhome, you're not going to get this much living space and no slide either, so it's very simple to operate. I mean, you basically just turn the key off and you're there. Both the front seats do swivel. I've got the seat pushed up for the uh, magic bed, which I'll, I'll demonstrate here in a minute. All the original upholstery looks great. It's got the original carpet that's still in good shape. Got the sleeper sofa that makes a bed sorry about that now you're probably wondering where's the bed at got a big kitchen area big bathroom area but that's what made these so unique see here's the thing you take your average class a motorhome say uh Say a 38 foot motorhome like I've got. 10 foot of that 38 feet is bedroom space. So you're actually getting 28 feet of living space if you don't catch your bedroom. Well, this is why these tracks were so popular. It has an electric magic bed, basically. And this runs on 110, so you gotta make sure you're hooked into shore power generator or using the onboard inverter. You've got a switch right here You'll have four locks you have to undo, which I've already pre-done. Um, and push a button. You've got a queen bed that lowers down from the ceiling. And I may not be able to go all the way down because I don't have the front seats pushed up or the driver's seat anyway. But they'll actually come down to about about the top of that sofa right there. So it'll come down another six inches or so. But you can see you got a queen bed. Or you can use the sofa bed if you don't want to mess with putting this thing up and down every day. It's entirely up to you. You can see the headliner on top of it looks great. Nothing hanging down. It's been a well cared for trek, guys. And you just push the button and up it comes.
and of course before we drive it i'm gonna put the locks in very very important to put those locks in guys this thing's 500 pounds um in fact it takes about four guys to take this thing off and on or to adjust it so make sure that your locks right here are in and they just pop in there's nothing to them and then you just put that on all four corners you got one of those on each on each track better safe than sorry i've never had one of those fall but i'm sure if something happens right circumstances that could happen so that's why you always want those safety pins in nice middle galley area and it's got the real hardwood plank flooring in the kitchen and the bath oh. i'm still getting the hang of this gimbal guys i hope i'm not making you too get dizzy you've got a table and chairs these are solid hardwood cabinets um you got a three burner stove top microwave and convection oven solid surface corian countertops and of course up top here you have additional storage so you got a lot of food prep area for this size motorhome and this is where it's really nice you won't believe the size of this bathroom guys you, you could have two or three people dancing in here if you wanted to um corian vanity top it's glass surround shower and you can look around that skylight you can see no water damage no sagging big closet right here and the big ugly guy don't come with it i mean this thing to be a 28 foot motor home has got a lot of storage in it and because of that bedroom being out of the way you get more storage you get a bigger kitchen a bigger living room and a bigger bathroom all in a easy to drive 28 foot package and guys you know this you got put it this way this unit's only about six or seven feet longer, which is it, which is about the little bit wider than that sofa. That's all the difference lengthwise from this and a Class B camper van. You get three times the room in this. So, um, you know, these things are popular for a reason, guys. You won't get a lot of attention when you pull up in this. And it's 199 includes our world famous four page inspection process yes i know it's 22 years old but we're still going to put it through this inspection process like it was two years old and i'll put a link below in the video description if you want to see everything that we're going to inspect and guarantee for the price you pay and guys it is the most thorough you're going to find of any used rv dealership in the country i can promise you that i've been told that multiple times from employees and customers four pages long and us repairing anything on that list this unit needs or may not function at no additional cost to you and i've got a physical copy in the coach and one online if you want to uh, go to my website you can see it or click on the link below in the video description if you're watching this on youtube comfy you can sleep two four up to four people in this rv um of course it's more or less a couple's motorhome i mean these were designed from the get-go to be a couple's motorhome and nothing else you could sleep three to four but comfortably it's really made to sleep two and um yeah this one's nice it's a great price range to be in. I mean, this is something, guys, that um, you can enjoy without breaking the bank. I mean, right now, you're, you, you, you couldn't find a, a late model travel trailer hardly for this price.
but this is a fully self-contained motor home with generator jacks and more aluminum roof aluminum siding nothing you got to worry about wearing out or leaking um, I, I mean they all can leak but less likely to leak in one like this over a 98 model with a rubber roof or even a fiberglass roof and a lot less maintenance too headliner looks great all the way through it there's no smoke or pet odors wow guys this this is a nice motor home uh, fantastic vent fan which i just noticed up top anyway 19.9 is 100 percent especially in today's current market where there's way more demand for used rvs and there is supply right now uh, guys, that is a haggle-free firm, non-negotiable. Don't even offer. I'm not taking any less for it. Only way I'm going to take less than 1994 Ford is if you come get it without the inspection, without the orientation, or any other benefits that you normally get for 199. If you don't want all that stuff, you can save a little bit of money, take it home the same day you pay for it, take it as is, and anything that works works. What doesn't work doesn't work. That's up to you to fix it or not fix it. That's that's a that's the whole uh, concept of the as is sale. But if you want us to do the full four page inspection, the price is nineteen nine. I don't care how you pay for it. I'm not taking any less. Nineteen nine cash or trade. Unfortunately, guys, this is a nineteen ninety eight model. You may be able to call your bank or credit union, might get some money financed on it, but all of our lenders will not go under a 2001 model on financing. So you will have to arrange your own financing, or bring cash, trade, or a combination of the three. We do not offer financing, unfortunately, for 98. And so many banks have tightened up on that thanks to COVID. Uh, they're not really doing older coaches anymore. Anyway, guys, normally I would pause the video, bring the rooms in, but I don't have to do that with this one since there's no slides. So what I'm going to do, pause the video, get strapped up um, with my chest mount, and I'm going to take it for a test drive, and we'll see how it does on the highway, see how it drives. If you've got questions about this coach, again, our phone number is 706-965-7929. Call before coming to look to verify it's available. I see it calls in that last one we had and it was ten thousand dollars more this one right here will go very very quickly you may want to consider leaving a deposit on it guys because it is nice and um yeah i've shown you everything i can think of to show you on it as far as condition and being honest with you i mean the next step is for you to come look at it Nationwide delivery is available. If you want a quote on that, give us a call. Um, like I said, we do take trade-ins. If you got something to trade, it can be an RV, it can be a car or truck, it can be a number of things, guys. I mean, if we can legally sell it and we've got a way to put a value on it, we'll definitely put a trade-in figure on it. Um, and we don't have to feed it every day, of course. <laughs> You'd be surprised. People, things people try to trade in over years um farm animals that, that was yeah <laughs> don't know where to go with that one guys <laughs> but uh you'd be surprised the uh things that we've traded for over the years and things that other things that we didn't trade for people try to trade in um but anyway thank you for watching subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'm gonna pause the video for a minute i'm going to put the locks in the bed get my GoPro chest strap on and take it down the road. So hang tight. I'll be right back. And again, guys, parkwayrvcenter.com is our website. Be a link in the video description. Call us 706-965-7929. Please make sure it's available for traveling here. Uh, strongly want to consider leaving a deposit on it. This one will not last long. Hang tight. Be right back. All right, guys, now we're going to test drive this 1998 Trek. And again, just a quick disclaimer, I'm using my chest mount on my GoPro. So, um, but I think it gives you a pretty unique perspective because it's going to be like you were sitting behind the driver's seat yourself. Good visibility so far. And um, 
course we got a little bit of traffic coming pulling out of here so brakes feel good motor runs very very smooth and we may be here just for a minute or two it looks like And like I said, guys, if I wasn't filming, I would be able to pull straight out of here without waiting. Now, right, here we go. And we're going to take it up this hill, which, you know, I, I'm going to imagine this 454 in, this, in a 28-foot motor home is going to have plenty of power. And it's a three-speed transmission with overdrive, so... I'm gonna say low end torque is good, and it is. Not bad. Now, is an 8.1 liter Vortec got more power and horsepower? Yeah, of course. I mean, you're talking 290 horsepower versus 340. But you're going to be moving up a few years and going up in price to get that 8.1 liter. But yeah, guys, I mean, it gets up and goes okay. I mean, I'll get on it when I get on the interstate. We'll see how it does. Mirrors got good visibility. You know, it doesn't have a huge windshield, but it's still got enough that you can see everything and uh, not miss anything while you're driving. Transmission shifts smooth, motor sounds good. You know, one thing with the 454s you always want to listen for is an exhaust manifold uh, leak, like a ticking noise, and it doesn't have any of that. And we are going to take it up the interstate. And I'm gonna get on it just a little bit. We'll see what it does. And of course, guys, guess what? We've got traffic. I guess I should have checked that before I got on the highway. <laughs> I tell you guys, sometimes it's just not our day, is it? Tell you what, I'm gonna pause the video. I don't want y'all to sit here in this traffic and wait on it. And when I get off the next exit, I'll, I'll try to, I'll start it back up and, and, and go going that way. So hang tight guys, be right back. Well, for y'all anyway, not for me. All right guys, it actually cleared up quicker than I thought. Um, it gave me a good chance to try out the radio, make sure it worked. But, um, so it wasn't a total ruin. Just had a little fender bender back there on the side of the road. Everybody's got a rubber neck. Let's try the cruise out. Cruise control works. Works really good, actually. 65 miles an hour right here, guys, and holding the road nice and steady, one-handed, no problem. Go ahead and cut that off and not a lot of wind noise you'd be surprised you would think the opposite with this the way this body's designed with that flat nose but I, it, very little road noise i mean you would think it'd be just a wind just pounding against you but there's not uh in fact anything i got these fans on making more noise in the outside so Brakes feel good, guys. I mean, to be a 22-year-old motorhome, of course, it's gonna drive different than a 2020 model, but I'm gonna tell you something, guys. For 199 on the price, probably one of the better under 20 grand motorhomes I've driven in a while. So, um, guys, it's a nice unit. Come out and look at it, come test drive it. Um, 
there's something you're interested in again i strongly suggest calling leaving a deposit because this is something the price range and the type rv it is is going to sell very very quickly um and i wish i had about a hundred more of these for this price but i don't hard to find 706-965-7929 is our phone number guys feel free to give me a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel feel free to comment of course more traffic gotta love it guys but thank you again for watching and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful ringgold georgia